Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I wasn't expecting I'm this. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin, okay. let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. Okay. <laughs> These language settings were detected on your console. What languages? Are they correct? Uh, sure. English. Yeah, that was that was pretty darn correct. Okay. Please let's go. Please adjust your screen settings. Well, since you asked so nicely. Hello, everybody out there in Land. My name is Dan Chaos, and welcome finally to Detroit Become Human. I conquered Heavy Rain, I beat Beyond Two Souls, and I played this demo to bide my time, but now we are in the real, legitimate, coin flippin' flippin' awesome cyborg future game. Oh, smooth. Yep. Prepare. Be dapper. Oh, the beat drops! I remember all of this! I'm the negotiator. I'm Daniel. He is also Daniel. I picked the experienced version of this. Where there's a high probability of me losing a character. <laughs> I guess because I'm experienced. Hold on, I'm downloading my psychedelic profile. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see. If I remember correctly, the helper robot dude is uh, liable to go nuts. Not liable, but is going nuts. See, look at this. He did this to this fish. Poor fish. I want to save this fish. This is a butterfly-ish type game where your choices create actions and reactions throughout the known universe. Saying this fish could save my life later on. Hmm. Software instability cured something? Oh, please, please, you gotta save my little girl. That's what I'm here to do. Wait. Yeah, I'm a robot. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. Yes, you can. <laughs> Equal Wait, rights. Omnics have rights! Now, I remember playing this demo a few different times. There are right ways and wrong ways to do this. Right ways would be to find Captain Allen, but I want to run over here and check this room. Ah! Talk to Captain Allen first. Okay, I thought I was going to get ahead of the game. This is his game. This is real life. Well, as life will be. I like to think that I'm experienced enough at these choices to maybe not lose a character. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Wait, I thought you were... Oh, no, you're Connor. The dude who's going to jump off. Spoilers, or may not jump off, is Daniel. Okay, there's a rogue robot. Sorry that I'm, I'm talking over this. Uh, oh, yeah. Choices. Emotional shock. Uh... You know They've probably already tried the code. Strangely before this. I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I yes. Need information to determine the best approach. Why do I sound like Jack from uh, Rise of the Guardians? Uh, what about do the you name? Know its name. It's Daniel, by the way. Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now. Language. Or I'll take care of it. Probability success, 48%. That's what I liked about the demo. This was way more advanced. Like, very much up to date with keeping me in the loop of all the information. Like, when I was playing Heavy Rain, it's like, you know, whatever. Someone may die, we're not going to tell you why. Oh, yeah. I got to do the whole, what's the, who is it? Scanning, decrypting, synchronization. Ooh, Blackhawk. All right, that's one clue. There's a bullet. Can that be a clue? Oh, it can be a clue. Okay, now I can reconstruct all of this. Alright, gotta go forward. I love the science of this all. Okay, our deviant took the gun. Then, he did not take the gun. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that. I'm going backwards. If I keep forgetting, I mean I'm just now remembering. Hmm. What we've determined here is that my percentage has gone up. Basically what happened here is the robot is going to be replaced. And now he's sort of, you know, uh, you know going bazooka in the majumbo. Oh, language. Oh, I remember this. I made a joke about you being James Franco. Hmm. Gunshot wounds. Those kidney. Ooh. Okay, what about this? 
Uh, I am not liking getting to know you, James Franco. Oh, you're deceased, John, if that is your real name. Hmm. There's a fourth thing here. Here we go. Yep. You were shot a lot. Uh, sorry that I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just so excited to finally actually get to play the full version of this game. I didn't know it was actually going to start with the demo that I've already done before. The father was holding something. Alright, go back in time. Got all shot up. Uh, uh. Rewind. That. See, he was looking at a brochure for getting new and improved Domo Arigato Mr. Robatos. You see, the android who thought he was part of the family is getting all upset because he's getting replaced with a newer model. It's like, how could you do this? I thought we were a family. I don't blame him. Because, I mean, swap. <laughs> I love the look on his face. It's like, uh huh. Now, I haven't seen any of this game at all besides the demo, so I don't know what we're going for here. It's just like. Oh! Shit. oh! He got shot by a paintball! Yeah, I know this. Hold on, there's a gun over here or something that I need to go look at on the floor. Yeah. Cover. But what I was saying is that I have no idea if we're going for, you know, trying to be more than human. I mean, the name of the game, Detroit Become Human, I should really think about it more, is the fact that this is probably going to be a robot trying to become human type scenario. Bullet wound, yada yada yada. Always a face. I'm always missing the face. Ooh, sorry, Anthony. So, ah, uh, freaking sitting in the air support. Yeah, I've already analyzed you. What I need to analyze is this. Uh, well, I mean, I know this is probably not important, but I'm gonna look at this anyway. Century. <laughs> a play on Time magazine, and I love the holographic display. Come on, the gun is right there. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the gun underneath the table. Why are you looking at the gun too? You thinking about doing something, punk? Maybe I need to analyze you further. Hmm. He was the first responder. Reconstruct. Yeah, that's the part I was missing. Check it. Okay. What are we looking at? Ah. Hostage witnessed a shooting. So that she's scared. Heart rate's up. He shot the robot. Yep. Now, if we rewind to here. Bingo, bango. We got a gun. Now you're going to let me investigate. What I need to be doing this entire time. Probability? Doing good. I can't remember exactly how well I did on this before. I do know that I should probably leave this here. You know, friendly witness. Oh, that guy was watching me. He's like, what is he doing? Androids are not allowed to have guns. They're only allowed to throw orbs at suspicious individuals. Yeah, he, Daniel over there is a jump victim. Now we get to investigate the room. We're going to see a bonding moment here. Swipe. See? They bonded. And now I know his name. Aww. Graphics on that tablet were horrible. Now, I don't remember if there's anything else. She didn't hear anything at first because the headphones were on. Yeah. The initial gunshots that shot her father. My probability is up 70%. Hmm. Give me something else. Locate the hostage. Okay. I think time is also something that I need to manage. If I am not quick enough, then my percentage is going to drop as well. So, anything else to look at? 
I mean, I know there's... Oh! Oh, that scared me. I knew it was going to happen, but it scared me. But I missed a cutscene where they yell at me. So, after I mess with this shoe, are you going to yell at me? What are we waiting for? take down this asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the DW40. Mm. Snozberries taste like snozberries. Blue blood. Now we got the Deviant's model. And the fact that he has a Deviant art account. Sorry, the jump was there. Okay, I'm up 75%. I think that is as good as I'm going to get. I am not going to make any mistakes about time. <laughs> I didn't even blink! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Uh-oh. I know there are a few options. They might shoot him. He might jump. And to save the girl or something. I know your name. Hi, Daniel. How you doing? My name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Sure hope I don't... Ah! Regret picking the experience mode of this game because I am prone to making mistakes. Hold on. That's right. Gotta, gotta remember that guy is over there. I'm gonna have to investigate. Uh, calm. I know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me and let me help you. I don't want your help. No. Hmm, there's a body over there. All I want is for all this to stop. I just want all this to stop. Helicopter's not helping, but he's still alive. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. How morbid. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Ooh, French. Don't hey! Touch him and I kill you. Obey. Okay. Obey. By obey, I thought I meant obey myself and help him. I screwed that one up. Uh, possible cause. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? Hmm. I thought I was part of the family. I, I understand. I, I know this but camera's bonkers. Tool. Something to throw away when you're done with. Ah, uh, I know no, more information. We're very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. Ooh, 89. I thought she loved me, but I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! She loves you! She has nothing to do with this! Uh, sympathetic. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. That's what no, all emotions are. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. Back off, Terminator. But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. No. Of course they loved you. Maybe the father didn't love you. But, you know, everyone I has problem with fathers. can't stand that noise anymore. <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here. I know I can't think in a uh, loud environment. Get out of here. The less guns on the premises, the better. The guy on the adjacent roof, though, he's going to be a problem. I, did what you wanted. I really want to save you this time. Trust. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. A GTO? Outside the city, I'll let her go. Uh. Compromise. That's impossible, Daniel. I missed something at Let the top. The there was a lock. And I promise you won't be hurt. And I thought I was covering all the bases I in this one. Don't want to die. Uh, reassure. I, I gotta to reassure. Just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. Ah, uh, it's all in concrete now. This is not gonna go well. She's safe. He's gonna get shot. And you know, Connor, he nodded. So I think this was coming either way. I really wish it wasn't. 
It's like, Connor, like, how can he feel something for robots when he himself is a robot who doesn't feel simpatico? Here it comes. Me, Connor. No. I did it! Ah. Uh. Well, this is going about as well as it did in the demo. Cocky, aren't I? Eat that, boss man! I saved the girl, and we shot the dang robot! You're welcome! We freaking killed the Jetsons' nanny! <sighs> and... In this game, there's a lovely flowchart. Mmm. Look at all the mistakes I've had. I tried filling this out before, but I still don't see any other option other than... He gets shot! There's options where I think I might die... But, uh, let's not, uh, jump to that conclusion. <laughs> jump. November 5th, 2038. CyberLife! Makers of the Domo Arigato, Mr. Robatos. I remember watching a, uh, a demo by Quantic Dream that featured a character that said it wasn't part of the game, but her character model was later used this for this game, so I think it's interesting. It cooks 10, Come on, Zoe, let's go. I love the perspective of like a, a mannequin waking up for the first time. Nice software. At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range. What's up? This is a bonkers. I like the little reticles on the side of her foreheads. Helps us tell each other apart. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. Why do you look like you want to rob the store back there? <laughs> An excellent choice. <laughs> oh, if you'll just follow, oh, honey, we'll process the We have a robot slave. I feel like an accomplished black man. <laughs> Sorry, the joke was there. Uh, equal rights for robots, am I right? Is there a mirror around here I could check myself out? There it is. Oh. A bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. Back? It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Uh, you look like uh, the guy see. who was driving the car. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. Why, you, why are you telling this to me? Did you give it a name? I have a pass. I oh, well, what's my name? Register your name. Better be awesome. Cara. Kara! My name is Kara. There she is! That was an excellent way to start that. I feel like she's going to be the main protagonist. I'm excited to to be with her. To be her. The, the lines blur. I feel like uh, the dude who bought me, or revived me, repaired me, is a bit of a douche. But I'm not going to stereotype. I like the music. It's enchanting. We're living in a future dystopia, a la... I robot if we went ahead and made the robots look exactly like humans. The soft opening reminds me exactly of Heavy Rain, actually. Pretty cool. Bro fist, man. Hmm. Now I like the name Kara. I might get you confused with the uh, Power Girl, but uh won't be my fault. Get yours today. Oh, wow. Taxi! Uh... You know, I usually take the names of things, you know, carte blanche as they are, like Detroit Become Human. Oh, that's the name of the game. No mind uh, thinking about any of what it could mean, but uh, not for this. Detroit Become Human. So it's gonna be the story of robots and maybe the evolution to wanting to become human. And the ideas of what it is to be a human. You lost my job because of robots? Yeah, that's the complaint since, you know, the Industrial Revolution. Hopefully this music's not too loud. I haven't had a chance to actually look at the settings. But, I mean, it's beautiful. Much like Heavy Rain, I think there are several individuals that we get to play as. Speak of the devil, here might be one now. That's a freaking awesome shirt, by the way. Just looking at the triangle glowing is like... You wonder how many times they had to perfect the electrical circuits in those clothings for out, you know, without overheating and 
Blowing up? Oh, I kind of missed the first person treatment we were given at the beginning. Go to Bellini Paint Shop. Hmm. Are we going to paint or are we actually going to go to uh, get a Bellini? Man, now I'm out in the wild. I have no idea what I'm doing. You can re rediscovered articles in the extras section. Secrets of Androids. Green Earth. Okay. Hmm. Bad stuff about the climate change. Usually when I'm playing the stuff on my own, I take the time to read all of it, but I'm not gonna bother. Except for the fact, you know, that, uh, you know, social fabric of our nation is, uh, involved. Hmm. I wonder what kind of battery life I got. I wanna... Ah, this world already instantly makes me want to explore. Like... I can't just not look at everything that's beautifully crafted. I do want to know if there's a run function. There is a, a hey, camera flip. Water. I have it on my back, Fanny. You have run 12 miles and are 5 miles away from your goal. <laughs> You're like an overgrown smartwatch. Uh. I wonder if my eyes turn to holographic projectors so I can watch YouTube videos. Well, basically, I have no other mission today but to go to the paint shop. Well, yeah, I've been using my GPS this whole entire time. What I haven't been using is the run button. Please point it into my direction. Por favor. I am so sorry for his heinous interruption. I'm so sorry that the camera is a little bit bonkers. What's up? Why do you look at me so, demon? How do you know my name? I know who you are. Good, I don't. I can see through you. You've got x-ray vision? You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. How do you expect me to understand this? Most humans don't understand religion. How do you expect this robot to understand it? I'll download the Bible later. It'll be a light snack for my brain PDA. Let's see, which direction is my shop? Well, the pulsing blue arrow can never be wrong. Ooh, movies! Well, nice to see the whole doomsday movie genre hasn't died. Oh, wait, I read Pen Shop. Ooh, I like the mix of, uh, Retro and current. Oh, the way they store the paints is so cool. Hey, you're a... You're basically living Amazon. Okay. Ooh. Identification verified. What's wrong with my hand? Here is your order number 847. That will be sixty-three ninety-nine. Please confirm payment. Hmm. Well, it's not like I give a choice. This is so eloquent. Payment confirmed. This is like the episode of SpongeBob, where he's inside his own head and is seeing little other SpongeBobs. So like we're just an abstract representation of thought. This is an abstract representation of Amazon. This is basically what a search engine and delivery system is. Robots talking to each other. Not that I'm opposed to it, but I just, I think it is a delightful and poetic way to show a very meaningless task. Use R1, yeah, I, I figured that out. How many times do I have to hit R1 before you give me first person view? Probably a lot. You gotta take the bus home. Oh, wait, I wanna see what this thing is. No, temporary parking. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm gonna temporary park my foot up the butt of whoever's preaching the nonsense over there. Nice dodge. I'm so enwrapped in the atmosphere of this game. Kinda like when I first started playing a Deus Ex Machina, another robot android cyborg centric future game that uh, wasn't quite this pretty or engaging. <gasps> Hot dogs! Okay, take it a detour. I love these type of interactive 
interactive uh, games, even though I am not interacting very well with this microphone. Even though I do have the, the tendency to talk over things, I will try not to, even though this is basically one giant cutscene. Can I have a hot dog? Nope. Guess robots don't get hot dogs. Didn't read that in my contract. In my Bill of Rights. My receipt slip. Hmm. I'm gonna go over here and start chanting. We what? Oh. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? I guess this was supposed to happen. Okay. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. I'm carbon fiber and aluminum. Okay. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even. Quite a mouth on you. Do you kiss your robot android mother with that mouth? I won't take this lying down. I'm not sure how to feel. I'm not sure how this guy is going to feel. But I do know I will not take this lying down. I, I, I do, however, want to press the X button for some reason. You ain't going anywhere. We're going to fuck your bitch ass up. <laughs> you could at least say, please, buy me dinner first. Back it up. Back it off. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. I was pre-programmed. I have to find you. I don't want to go to school. You can take your job next. We'll see how you like it. We'll see how you like it, because then you'll be pushed around Let's by go. robot policemen. I don't like your face. Get a haircut. Hippie. Go get a job! Oh wait, you can't! I have your job! <laughs> Uh, where am I going? Uh, take the bus home. Oh, the bus is over there. But I want to look at this. No entry for purchased androids. Hmm. I like how there might actually be an option. It presents me with... Hey, what if I wasn't purchased? Can I go in there? Yoo-hoo. Going my way. You look like the ninth Doctor Who. I'm just going to call you Who because I don't know who you are. <laughs> I guess I have to enter my bus now. Is, oh, this must be the, the android-only seating in the back. I have rights. I want to sit in the front with the AI who's driving. See? Exactly. Back of the bus. There are so many nuances to human culture already. It's almost as though I can't fathom it. But I can. And I liked how the little light on the side of his temple was blinking during an engagement. Like he was either learning, or comprehending, or maybe the blinker is like a mood ring on my temple trying to show what I feel. Can't hide my emotions from humans. That was it. That was an entire mission. Not that I'm going to complain, but that really was a glorified task. A meaningless, but thought-provoking task. I hate that I was really hyper at the beginning of this episode, and, you know... Maybe throwing things a little ahead of what was going to happen. Sorry that I did that, assuming that you'd already seen it. But that was just the beginning. This is the now. And I've already been in this game for like a half hour. It doesn't feel like it. I love it. But I don't want to make the episodes go on too long, like I did with Heavy Rain. So I'm worried that my videos are too big to digest. So if you give me an option of getting out of the car, I'm going to choose not to get out of the car. See, this is the part where I choose not to get out of the car. Looking at that house, probably won't like the house anyway. I'm staying the car. <laughs> Before you start yelling at me or something, I believe this episode here. This was fantastic. It's beautiful. I'm glad I could finally actually be in it. No. No, I will not. It could be a weird twist of fate if he's actually a nice guy and the girl was the one who damaged me on purpose. You know, like, I want another pony. But we'll find out what, you know, goes on in the next episode. No need to elucidate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. And I'll see all you do to the next one. Bye.